Hey, Karen here. Um, I've been away for a while. I've had a lot of family issues and uh, medical problems, so I've taken quite a lot of time off, but I'm trying to jump in again. I'm jumping in by doing a uh, new MAS swap. They wanted a Christmas steampunk box with a charm. So I really wanted to do a Zeppelin and you know, a Zeppelin box, because I, I just like that in steampunk. So real quick here, because I have to send them out really soon. So this is what I came up with. Um, I made the box out of, uh, you know, the chipboard you get in the back of paper packs and stuff. It's, it's thin like a cereal box. Um, anyway, so I made the box out of that. And then I just put some, I embossed some velvet paper and um, put some, I, I cut some pieces of the, this little garland metal wreath thing and then I made it into this decorative part here. Just put some flowers and uh, peacock feathers and stuff in the end here, a little bling. And then I paper mache this. I think it was some kind of uh, Tim Holtz tissue paper. And then I spritzed it with some green, one of those green uh, sparkly sprays. Why not notice it? And then I put the ribbon down. And I also put some of the, this is, um, this is the sides, the metal you put around glass, glass slides. I colored some lace. Put on a Zeppelin little fin thing there, and in the front, I got a lot of, uh, here, I'll put it down. Um, I have some, a lot of metal fines, so I just put them on, um, here, and on the sides. And I put some more bling on the propeller. There we go. My focus thing is a little wonky. Um, okay, I think it's focusing better. All right, so I got the propellers. And then I put this on. It was originally just going to be a stand um, to hold it up. But I was going to make it removable, so if anybody wanted to hang this, they could. But it, I had so much trouble just trying to um, figure out a way to get it to temporarily stand on there that I, I just glued it on. And then, oh, um, isn't that great? I made a little tailpipe out of a, one of those bead cone things. And then here in the back is just some metals and a paper flower I put there. And some chains. And the other side looks pretty much the same. Nothing really different. And then it had to be a box, so I made a box out of it. A little clasp here. And then... I open it up, and I already put some paper stuffing in here. This is where the charm's supposed to go, and I hook it on there with the paper clips. When they open it, it'll just you know pop up. Um, I put this in for more for shipping than anything, and then the charm is the first charm I made, so I don't think it came out that great, but it came out all right. Um, it's just a uh, Try to make a Christmas tree. He well, a clock watch piece, obviously. Uh, try to make this into a Christmas tree. There, and uh, try to make like a wreath out of a cog with some green wire. I need to practice that a little more, I think. There's some beads and um, you know, angel. Another bead. So that's it. Whoops. So anyway, I'm debating whether to do a clock, a uh, clock, a class. Uh, see, that's what you get for going too fast. But anyway, a class on video later on this because I really like it. Um, it's actually out of a rocket template, but I just made it into a zeppelin. But anyway. Oh, okay, the butterfly's in the way. Anyway, um, I'm going to ship this out now. And 
hopefully I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to try to be a little more regular with the classes. Hopefully all the, all the things that I had to deal with are resolved pretty much. And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.